Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we got a new show for y'all. People live on the other side of town, so they making their way over here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do it like this and like that and like this and uh, just like that. So what's up, y'all? How y'all Easter been? Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Hey, what's up, Drake? I seen you on that Harley Davidson. Easter, man. Y'all, did y'all have an Easter egg hunt? I, uh, I was with my cousin. They had, they had an Easter egg hunt for my little cousin. Uh, us. It was good. He found a couple of eggs. He ate like 20, a, a 24 pack of eggs, though. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. Hanging with my people. Shout out to Vern, Tyler. Janae, my sister, Katina, all of them. Happy Resurrection Day. Yeah. Hey, Dewana. I know Dewana. You know Dewana. Yeah. Uh, oh, she got no candy. But, um, yeah, it's a lot going on, y'all. It's a lot going on. Of course, y'all know the, uh, yeah, all the shootings and going on and people, there's too much, I don't know, man. It's too much. My people are going to be showing up slowly, so we're going to keep it live. We're going to keep it going. Hey, everyone. <clears throat> they following me here slowly but surely. <laughs> I want y'all to put y'all hands together and give a warm welcome to Miss C. Shell. <laughs> She's in the building, y'all. She's getting us up to drink. Uh, refreshments and going on. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just it's good. It's good. We're gonna let. Uh, hey, uh, Jennifer, my cousin, blew me some kisses. Way Louisiana. Hey girl. We got some hot topics. We want to talk about a uh, matter of fact it was on a Yala Van Zet show. This guy. I, I I kinda agree with him until he actually started crying, but We we gonna talk about it, but that's that's the topic. Is is men hurt too? Men do men hurt too? Like women's women hurt? Women's women's men's women's. And uh, So we come and fit it in. I see. So we got seashell here. Yeah. We live, baby. Uh, 
We got a pasta in Houston that's in some hot water. About uh, selling some Chinese bonds to folks. Uh, he said he gave everybody back the money that they wanted. Yeah, I don't know about that though. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He did say that. He, he, matter of fact, that was his Easter sermon. He came up there and he was like, I'm not guilty of the crime they're trying to pin on me. <laughs> I am not guilty. I did not have sex. Whoa, 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 the wrong guy, wrong guy. He's, he preached about it. He talked about it. Uh, But... If you selling something, you an investor. You supposed to know kind of what it is, right? Right? Supposedly. So you selling Chinese bonds? But I could see if somebody, if somebody came in. Want to sit here? Yeah. Sorry, y'all. Because I'm left-handed, and so it's always been difficult for me. To look that way. It's okay. I'm always. We're gonna switch it up. I, I, yeah, but this is. Yeah. Because then I. Because usually I don't have to look at you. Because they over there. So you can talk to them. There we go. Sorry, y'all. I know, like, oh, she's such an asshole. <laughs> I am, though. Give me my Yeah, your mic is louder. My mic sounds nice, check one. My mic sounds nice, check two. Oh, I finally watched Girls Trip. Oh, really? I was thinking about it because MC Light was at the end. She was at Essence Festival. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a good movie. So I finally watched that. It was... I think Tiffany pretty much made that movie. Yeah, she did. She did a really good job. Uh, her first, that was her first big one, right? A big role. Yeah, but she was just in some like TV shows and extras and stuff like that before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it was funny. I was laughing the whole time. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny. Kept me What's alive. What's that noise? That's the music. It's mm-hmm. gonna be on. Uh, Just asking. <laughs> it's just like because it's constantly over and over again. We're supposed to try to draw people insane when they come to do the show. No, no. Oh, okay. supposed, we're supposed to hear it on the headphones, but I ain't really <laughs> set it up, worked it out yet. Because well, it's going through the mixer, so once it go through the mixer, it's gonna be in the can. It's in the camera. Okay. Yeah. So what was you talking about before we move seats? Oh, I was just talking about the pastor. Oh, Kirby John. Kirby John. I, I, I don't think I ever been to one's village. You? No. Because I, I used to church hop back in the days. I used to church hop and <laughs> go visit all the pastors <laughs> and see all the people. <laughs> yeah. Get my collections out. I used to pay my tithes. Tithes? And my tithes and offerings. You know, you have to pay, I guess you have to pay your tithes so you, so they can spend it, so they can buy Chinese bones, so they can sell it to the court. Right. So they can finesse. Yeah, I guess. Like that uh, <laughs> dude that stole their money from Howard. <laughs> Who? You didn't see that guy that stole all their money from the financial aid office? He was a student worker. Uh-huh. Oh, I think I did hear about that. A half a million dollars. Ooh. Dang. Oh. He was a major finesser, mm. and uh, actually his Facebook or his Instagram was just full of pictures of him with mink song, do that mink on. <laughs> he was in Amsterdam. I mean, hey, I like, he was I mean, showing off his Gucci. His, I mean, he had everything. See, I don't really have a spirit to steal stuff, but if I did, <clears throat> I would kind of, I would kind of lay low for a second. Then ball, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just coming off the top, 
falling out of control at first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think he could have potentially gotten away with it if he wouldn't have took so much. The meats and two Yeah, I think, yeah. But I know it was some, um, I guess he lost his money. I think it was some other people, but they didn't talk about him. I mean, but his name is Tyrone. Wow, they love, see, they love to put that out there. Tyrone Jenkins, his last name Jenkins? I don't know. <laughs> it might be. Tyrone Washington stole half a million dollars out the Treasury Department. Red, we caught him red handed. Mm. Right. How did it be? Somebody said, Have you resurrection day? Yeah. Well, we're talking about the big topic today is going to be. Do men hurt like women hurt? Because a lot of people say that, uh, uh, you know, just suck it up. Don't cry. Stop crying. Stop all that crying. Stop crying like a girl. But sometimes stuff hurts. And guys need to cry. You the one that said something about the guy crying. Yeah, exactly. He needed to cry. <laughs> but you... <laughs> He said all that and he was like, he had me until he started crying. Yeah, he That's what you me. said when I walked in. Exactly. He had me until sometimes guys need to cry. Yeah, like what's wrong with guys crying? I mean, don't show nobody though. You ain't supposed to just cry. You talking to a room full of women, plus I crying. We'll talk about That's it later. That's the problem. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> but. Yeah, we got that to talk about. We want to talk about the, uh, the boy brother. What is his name? Uh, the guy that got shot in the backyard 20 times? Well, actually, he got shot eight. Got shot eight times. That's a lot of times. One time. Stephon Clark's brother. Yeah. They, they name sound the same. Yes, yeah, like Stevante, Stevante. Yeah, Stevante. That it had to be named. He was kind of going ham yesterday. Did you see that? Okay. Did you want to talk about that now, or are you want to talk about that later? Yeah, we can talk about it now because well, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the picture of the white guy holding his hand on the gun and the cop. It's right there. No, nobody was alone. But that's happened before. They had, they had like. Semi-automatics, and it was white people, and it was okay. Oh yeah. And then when a the black person did it, they had to. Did you see that whole video? Yeah, they did a. They, yeah. They did like a, a comparison, comparing mm-hmm. mm-hmm. contrast. Like a white guy walked down the street with AK-47 assault rifles, and they say, uh, oh, "What you doing? Oh, I'm packing my gun. I'm, I'm exercising my rights." Okay, have a nice day. A black man did it. It was free. You know the SWAT team came out. Yeah, they called yeah, yeah. multiple call, cars, told them to get on the ground, spread your legs, let me see your ID, don't move, all these commands at once. So when they yell on all these commands, like, which one do you do first? Help me out, because I don't know. Well, you better do one. I mean, I'm just going to be... But, mm, I guess whichever one you think may not get you shot. I don't know. See, and kind of like, okay, I'm going to say this, but I know people probably will get on me for it. But when I see the videos, sometimes when they be like, put your hand behind your back or lay on the ground. And then they keep saying, well, what did I do? What did I do? Like, but then they don't like do the command. Mm -hmm. And they kind of just like arguing about what, what did I do? Can't you figure that out later? Yeah. Or I, I mean, I guess. I mean, because I know a lot of people say, "Well, they shouldn't have arrested them anyway." That's you know, that's like the broken glass thing, or just trying to arrest people, you know, because they did that to a few people. And I kind of feel like, why you gotta fight and like protest when you know it ain't gonna help at this moment? Right. It might help if somebody seen the video, but you're still alive and you can go ahead and sue their ass. 
get your money and get everybody fired. But it ain't gonna help if you get shot or tased to death or suffocated. Right. So I don't know. I'm just. Well, <clears throat> that's my um, question for today. Yeah, a lot of it is like, I don't know if, if a lot of people, they say stop resisting, but in actuality, they're not resisting at all. They're getting roughed up, and the person that's putting them in handcuffs is pulling their arms up and putting it in the. If anything hurts you, you gonna say like, "Ow, stop!" Mm-hmm. My arm, you breaking my arm. You gonna try not try to move to where they can't break your arm, or, or you know, it's a lot of stuff. But I think people they should give people one or two commands: get down, or if they want them to get down, get down. Put your hands behind your head. Too many commands. It's like uh, turn around, lay down, put your hands on your head, uh, do some jumping jacks, do the centipede, freeze. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, I mean that's true, but I I do feel like because sometimes if you relax, you know you can get your, your your heart rate down, you can get your pulse rate down, you can kind of start thinking a little bit more. And this, and kind of strategizing, like, okay, what is this gonna get me? Even if they saying, "Don't move," and I'm not moving, but me saying, "I'm not moving," is that gonna help? Yeah. Well, no, not not with the racist cops. Not with the cops that's just out to kill you. But <clears throat> like, if you if you get arrested. Your adrenaline already pumping. You already nervous and scared, and it's it's just hard to say the right thing sometimes. It's hard to communicate sometimes because your adrenaline had you. You know, you you be ready to. You know, you it, it's just a bunch of adrenaline, and you don't know what to do or what to say. So you trying to you trying to react calm, but you look crazy because you don't really know what's going on. Just like when they ran in that, that guy's backyard, he didn't know what was going on. He was like, um, and the, the the evidence shows he got shot in the back, so. Yeah, but wasn't he actually doing the crime? I don't know. Because that's what I saw, that it was actually him. So why the, why the uh, Austin Bomber is still alive? He did the crime, he knew it. They didn't shoot him eight times in the back. Which she should have got it. Um, I, How did they arrest him? Oh, come on, sir. They trying to kill us. Lay down. And they showing it on TV, making Lay, it normal. Yeah, making it make us censored to uh, right getting killed to death. And so next time we see it, it's like, oh, I got another one. Oh, well, I don't want to see it anymore. It doesn't justify. Like, yeah, okay, if he was doing the crime, it doesn't justify it. I'm not saying that him getting shot eight times, seven in the back, one in the front, I think, that that justifies like him doing those crimes, because I do believe he was doing the crimes, but it doesn't justify it. At the same time, they was looking for him. So he was the criminal guy? I believe he was the criminal. I mean, if anybody can tell me that he wasn't the criminal. Why do you believe that? Because he was black. <laughs> no, because he was a fucking criminal. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck? Most, most, I mean, be honest. I mean, the black community, when y'all trying to act like these niggas is out here uh, counting beans, and then all of a sudden the police just shoot him in the back. No. Hmm. And then the one with Trayvon, he wasn't even a police officer. And Tamir Rice, he was a child. But when you start mixing the innocent and the children with like the criminals, it starts to get cluttered and then people can't see past the crimes that the people commit. It's a real crime. 
Well, which one? Which one of the brothers? I mean, yeah, I think he was the criminal. Which one of the brothers Look that got? Up. Which Probably. one of the brothers that got shot? And then his brother. Oh my god. Which one of the brothers that got shot was actually doing crime? Just him. Who? The one that just got shot. He the only one that was doing crime. Or was they were searching like Mike Brown? They said that he had robbed that convenience store. Oh, they always gonna say that. Yeah. They gonna say that first. And but actually, he was he came in there for something else. Right. I think it was buying lottery tickets or something. I don't know. But anytime we go somewhere, we always the suspect. We always fit the description. I don't always fit the description. If they looking for a black woman that's five four, uh, dark skin, natural hair, you fit the description. <laughs> It's just like, but that's just like saying a 5'3 white woman with blonde hair. Yeah, but they're going to find the right white one. But if they come and they see you, you did it. It don't matter what you did or where you was, you did it. Don't matter. Yes, it dilutes. It dilutes it. So mixing the... Right. The crime with the innocent. Yeah, it, it messes it up. And then you see... Like something like Al Sharpton, I guess he was at the, you got chocolates on. Anyway, um, he write, he write about what? Uh-oh. Write about something. <laughs> yeah. But, um, no, just like uh, the brother, like the way he's acting. Mm -hmm. I mean, initially I gave him a pass because I was like, when I saw him in the in the council office, I gave him a pass. I'm like, yeah, he's hurt. You know, he's he's you know sad. I guess this is his second brother that's gotten killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the lady broke it down all the way. She came on. She was like, it's because uh, when they when they barged into the mayor's office, they were saying that one of those guys wanted to get like a a community center going to where like the little homeless guys that be on the street a lot, they have somewhere to go. And uh, like a, uh, you know, like a, a youth, yeah, a youth center. A youth something. community center. And so the lady was like, you know, that's why they was trying to put this together because we need. Oh, well, know. that's if anybody fit the description. We'll know that. But they were saying that, that they need evaluation in the, in the black community because it's just like they got, I don't know what it's called, PTSD? No. What is it called? I don't believe that. Because we post -traumatic are- Post-traumatic. Post-traumatic stress, stress syndrome. Because- uh, PTSD. Yeah. So some some of these neighborhoods, not this one we live in, but some of these neighborhoods are like a war zone. Like, like a third world country is like shooting every day and uh, is that so? Is that due to the police or is that due to the community? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The community is like a lot of them is mentally disturbed. Or it, they need the same type of treatment the soldiers get because they see the same. They see dead bodies. They see their family dying. And is that from 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 the police? Yeah, it don't the matter. It don't matter. It's just somebody. They always losing people in their household and their family and they. Friends, is, they losing people, and that, that I, I hate to lose shoes. That mess with me. If I, <laughs> if I mess up a good pair of shoes, that mess with me. So I can imagine. I can't even imagine losing that many family members at the same time, or that many friends and close friends too. Yeah, I can see that. You know, it, it'll it'll kind of mess with you because who who can deal with that? You know, and then you see all these other people getting killed and you're like uh, I, I hope it don't come around I hope it don't hit home I hope it don't hit home bam it hit home once like oh, okay okay I can deal with this now it hit home again your, your, your brain really don't know what to do you trying to cope with this hurt and pain and then on top of that you broke you trying to get some stuff started you can't it's just a lot you can People crack up from that. Especially strong people that's not as strong as others. So do you think the brother cracked up? Because he, he, he might look like he's losing it. 
Yeah. This might He's be definitely music. losing it. That's Stefan Clark's brother. Yeah, he needs to He was on, yeah. From what I saw, he wouldn't even let Al Sharpton go. He was just hugged on to him. Like, it was kind of like, uh, And then he stuck his tongue out initially. I don't know if anyone saw that. It was on, they showed it on CNN and showed it on some other stuff. But I just thought the dude is, he needs to go get mental treatment. Dude. For real. A lot of us do. But let's talk about the other part of Stefan Clark mm -hmm. and his girlfriend. He, I guess he has like some Hispanic or or Asian or some type of girlfriend. So on top of him getting killed, and then you know he's saying he might have done the crime, he might not. Um, people uh, went to his Twitter, you know, because sometimes you know people's Twitter when they die or whatever, and her Twitter, and they started seeing a lot of disparaging comments about black women, dark-skinned women. Him saying that he don't um, he he don't even want black children. Like, why would I want black children and I'm black? And I don't know if he meant black as in race or black as in color. Mm. So, so yeah, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, he had a lot of disparaging comments about about black people in general and about Black Lives Matter, basically. So, his death was not, uh, you know, called for, of course. But at the same time, I noticed that there were a lot of people that were protesting. And he wants, you know, they want to do this, this memorial in the brother's name and all that stuff, which is good for them. But me, as a black woman, I, I won't be supporting any of that. I feel like maybe... They protested. They I posted it. They protested because, like I said, they don't want to be next. They don't want to be next, or they don't want their family members to be next. Cause who knows? Who knows? Why is it? Why is y'all? Okay, okay. Maybe it's just me, but it, I mean, it's making it like some scary, it is like, scary. like like big bad wolf that's coming and. It's to him. end in the nighttime undercover to like terrorize black people. <laughs> that's that's what it sounds like. You, can't, you don't know who's next. You can't see it. It's happening. It's quick. You never know. You never know. You get stopped. Regular, regular, a regular traffic stop. You pull over. Let me see your ID. You reach for your ID. You get shot to death. I keep my wallet in my front pocket, right here. Now, I don't keep it on the dashboard, never have, never will, because I think that's stupid. Uh, because if something happened, people have, if I crash, somebody might have to drag me out the car, call on fire. They go, the license is plastic, it's, it's gone. They don't know who I am, and I can't talk, I'm in a coma or whatever. Nobody knows where I'm at, so I keep my keep my wallet in my pocket, and uh, just in case anything like that happen, and then I, if I reach for it, I had to. I got pulled over once, and I had to tell the cop, "Hey, look, my wallet is in my front pocket. I'm about to reach for it," <laughs> and that's what I told him. And he he actually had his hand on his gun, like. Really? We talked about this before. I was in my full uniform at work, going to work. I got pulled over. And he had his hand on his gun. Like, okay. I'm pretending to go to work so I can rob somebody, I guess. I'm the one getting robbed for one of this silly job. <laughs> so I'm going to be riding clean and be scared. Yeah. Have to be. I mean, you try to stay calm when they come talk to you. Now, I, got, I do have cousins that's cops, police. I would not be scared of them, even if I didn't know them, because I don't think they have that, that type of attitude against people. 
whenever they pull them off. You know, but they do have to be cautious because people are so on edge with cops. You know, it's like, just like now, the good have to suffer for the bad. You know, you got good folks that's dying because somebody might think it's somebody else or, you know, you fit the description, you know, black guy, bald head, yellow shirt. He did, you know, many yellow shirts out there. Me and black guy is bald head. I don't want to be the one getting shot for no reason. I just come, I just come from a nail shop. I had to get my feet done. <laughs> What's up, Amp? So I'm just thinking, okay, so I'm scared like that, and I'm just scared, period, if I'm walking somewhere by myself as a woman. Right. Yeah, because it's crazy people. It's great because just like I and said, those people are mainly because I live in the black community. They're mainly black. Yeah. Yeah, you scared of a lot of people. Yeah, so I gotta take my pistol with me. Pack, pistol pack. Pistol yeah, pack. because I don't know. I get out of my car, I could be in my backyard, or somebody could have jumped over the fence. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going on, right? Yeah. And see, that's the best. exactly. Somebody said, so are they winning by still putting fear in us? That's what I was saying. Like the way you were making it sound, it's like, no, why I'm are we even? I'm not making it sound anyway. That's no, just the way it is. That was the scenario that you gave. Like y'all gotta be careful. You do because it's just, but it's a fear. You you build in fear. Like if you create, if you create a child and then you raise them to have that kind of mentality, they're gonna be fearful continuously. They are not. They're gonna have fear in them. If you in the jungle. And you roaming free around the wild animals, you need to have some common sense and say they can get me at any moment. And you can't be like, oh yeah, there go a couple lions over there. I'm just walk right in, grab what I want to grab, and, and be out. No, they gonna get you. Just because you're cautious doesn't mean you have to have fear. But the way you made it sound, you it sounded like fear. That's what it is. Okay, no. Yes. We can't have fear. You just said you were scared, scared to walk without your pistol. Yeah, my neighborhood because it's crackhead well, over there. I mean, and I know what crackheads do. There's cops everywhere. Fear I know what cops do. Though, I knew what, at the same time. I know what cops do to people that I see on the news and everywhere else. And people that, and some of them don't even make the news. People get choked. We used to get beat up in League City by cops. But good thing they wasn't on the killing thing yet. We used to get jacked up against the car. And they knew we was high school students. And they jacked us up anyway, just, I guess, trying to put that fear in. I mean, was it, 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 was, it, was, it was it black cops? It was white, white cops. cops. It was white cops. Big, big guys. And they had Yeah, a, and they put fear in you. So that's what you're expressing right now. Okay. I'm scared of stuff. I'm scared of a lot of stuff. It's, it's okay to be scared. You can't, oh, yeah, I'm a big, bad black guy. See, and that's they what I'm saying, me. okay. See, that, that's what okay, guys so that's an here. example of what I was saying when these people, like the people that have gotten shot, right? right. Or killed or tased or choked. If they're fearful, then you want to live to see another day, right? So you go, you go kind of adhere to what they're asking you at the time. So why, when this is happening, it's always like, but what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? And it's like a, a movement, a fight, you know, like a, what is that for? Maybe they scared. Fear makes you do a lot of stuff. Just like fear, fear along with adrenaline, you don't know what's gonna happen. You have no idea. What's gonna happen? Your fear is mixed with a tremor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just I can't live in that type of fear. But I understand what you're saying. And also, I won't be protesting for Stefan Clark. Just FYI. Okay. Because <laughs> me and my dark skin and my black ass go stay at home, watch Netflix and chill. Since that ain't what 
weeks. So he had a problem with that. What? That's what I'm saying. He had a problem with black people. Oh. Yeah, but it's still a shame he got shot like that. Yeah. It's a shame. They do be scared of us. Like the officers. I think because probably they know like, oh, they're probably strong, stronger than them. And, you know, different things. So cops be on adrenaline too, right? Yeah, they own it. So everybody on adrenaline. They own it. They own it as soon as they see you. Is there any way we can turn that down? No. It's live. <laughs> They can't hear it yet. Y'all gonna hear it on the, the edited version. No, they can hear it in our background. Huh? Mm-hmm. If I can hear it, you can hear it in our background. Y'all hear it? Tap the down button on here twice. Um. Is somebody calling in? Uh, let's see. Let me let my Did you put the... I'm surprised you didn't put the number in the comments. In the post. Call in. You know what I noticed? Hello, calling you on the air. Oh, right now the topic is we talking about uh, Stefan. What's his last name? The guy. We were we were done with that. The guy. Yeah, Stefan Clark. Yeah, Stefan Clark. Is this speaker over there? We was talking about Stephon Clark and uh, the little brother that's looked like he's losing it. And uh, we was talking about Stephon Clark and the little brother that looked like he's losing it. And uh, we, we was trying to see if he he needed mental help or he should just. Call in, give them the number, Silky. The number is 713-714-7670. That number is again, 713-714-7670. Call in. And uh, yeah, right now we're talking about, uh, well actually we're talking about fear. Fear of policemen and uh, adrenaline rushes and <laughs> stuff like that don't go good together. I'm trying to iron it out a little bit. But uh, yeah, feel free to call in. Oh, what she say? What's the phone number so they can call in? Call in, Josephine. <laughs> Seven, What's the number? 713-714-7670. Yeah. Matter of fact, I want to shout out while we're giving, uh, I want to shout out to Work the Hustle. This young lady sells cookies around town. She's really good. She's really good. And uh, not just her that sells cookies. I got a friend named Ella. Ella Russell sell cookies. E Double Delicious Cookies. Oh my God. Check those out. Uh, you might find them on that uh, social media page as them names. Work the Hustle. And E double dishes. And the phone number is 713 714 7670. Yes. Yeah. Call me now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josephine. Josephine, thank you. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, uh. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on. Um. So do we want to continue with fear? I don't really have nothing else to talk about. Well, yeah. We can talk about that. that okay. There's, there's a picture out there. And there's some kind of rally going on. A white guy has a pistol on his waist. And there's a cop in front of him. Looks like he's arguing with another guy. And the cop is not holding a gun. These are all white guys. 
The cop is not holding his gun. He's reaching for it. He's like, he's saying like, hold up, hold up. Kind of like that. Hardly have any worry on his face. And the guy behind him was like, get him, get him. He's reaching for his gun. Hold on, we got a call coming in. Hold on. Work topics. Someone mentioned they wanted to have work topics. Call you on the line. We'll talk up. How you doing? Okay, put it on speaker. Hold on, we can't hear you. standing up because we tried back in the day we tried to stand up. yeah we tried to stand up but uh we got ripped apart by horses we got uh so we then got, what happened we got, after we that we got tarred and feathered and uh-huh they stood up in haiti too they're getting taken over by the chinese if you didn't know but but uh um, oh, well africa is no, Jamaica. Jamaica has Indians. What's up, Dorea? Right. I mean, right, we haven't came together as a, a group, a big group, and try to stand up. Like, individuals do it, but you always got somebody in the background pulling that one down. And we, yeah. need, we need to get away from that. I mean, men, women, all of us need to get together and do it. But how do we get away from that? I don't know. Men want to be the leader until it's time to be the leader. Ooh. 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 No. <laughs> to uh it need to apply to him but like me i'm a stand-up guy <laughs> <laughs> so you're the only person that so but you're talking about the black community right and the yeah i mean community. i would i wish we all i mean i wish i knew the answer we could all get together i i i have no idea maybe maybe they didn't have a strong maybe they didn't have a strong mother and father to raise them I but I say, you can't answer that question how we get more like you just gotta raise it you just gotta raise a younger generation. Yeah, because uh, my mama and daddy raised me uh, to be strong. All right, young lady, thank you. We got another call coming in. Hold on, okay? We got another call. Hey, 
Hey, young lady, you on the li- on line live with Talk Up? <laughs> Sir. How you doing? I am well. Can you hear me now? I can't. Oh, okay. What y'all do? So now the topic is, did you hear it? Did you hear what, what we were talking about? I think maybe she had something she wanted to talk about. Yeah, did you have something to say? Okay, can you repeat me? No, Did you have something to say? Well, yes, yes, I just, um, I did want to say that I, I don't ever get to watch the show live. Uh-huh. So I can go back and watch it on YouTube. Um, I think you already want to Oh, thanks, Sugar. Thanks. Well, all right. Well, I'll see you guys later. All right, be good. Yeah. Inspirational call. Back to the men. So Eva's comment was, men want to play the leader to get in your pants. And when it's time to stand up, they do something dumb to get locked up. First of all, I'm not playing anything. I'm playing right now. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Just give me some ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to do that to get in your draw. Right, right. I'm right. only going to lead in a, in a full relationship or if I am married. You know, y'all were talking about we only want to lead. What are y'all doing? Uh oh. Like, uh oh. What, what are y'all He's doing? at the table. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I have this conversation a lot with women. They, they, Y'all come with these questions on what we supposed to be doing or no, not even a question, y'all come with these statements telling us what we supposed to do. But you ain't no man though. You really have no idea what I'm supposed to do. You have a conversation, you have a some type of um, vision of what you've seen. Well, if they're if, if they're if they're if they're Christian, they have okay. I mean, and if they're uh Islam, I mean they all have they all have doctrine and, and understanding of what a man is, and what a woman is. And I get that. I, we do what a marriage is. What, what we are supposed to do as a you know species. But what are you doing? What are you supposed to be doing as a woman? You want me to leave? Well, what you about to do? So what do you want her to do? Uh, oh, somebody <laughs> said we picking up y'all slack. That's what they what's, said. What's slack? What's I mean, slack? What's slack? And what's this y'all? They might pick up I mean, we're just talking about men and women. I mean, nobody. Are we talking about men in general? We not. Calm down. I'm cool. <laughs> 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 are we talking about here? Yeah, are we talking about men in general or yeah, yeah, we're just yeah, we're not talking or just what you've know been through? You, what's right? Like, or what's you? Because like, you probably had to pick up some slack. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, if you had to pick up some slack for the men you dated, my apologies. Okay. Yeah, same here. I mean, I don't know what you're going through or what people are going through. I wish we can all get it together. I wish I knew the answer. To everything like, if, if I knew that, this talk show would be a whole lot better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what's the topic again? Let's bring that back up. Some people ask, what's uh, the topic? Well, this topic, we're talking about um, the difference between a good man, I guess, a good man and uh, these other guys out here. <laughs> oh, okay. and uh, what's that? Drake? Dre said he's raising his three sons. I'm raising my three men. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. But that ain't always happening. No. So we know a, that. A lot. I mean, a lot of people do a bunch of crazy stuff, but the good guys is just Oh, like, Frank said, if we leave, then they will follow. I mean. That's a man. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just telling you what the man I mean, said. that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, I mean. Are supposed to be some don't know follow some some won't some do what they want to do because I know I leave because they so independent I no I mean people that's, you, that's you can't you can right lead there. no you can always this is what my mama said you can lead a horse to water but you can't get him to drink it mm. drink it and I think so you so you, you not, feel like if the horse don't drink the water shoot it to the workers so you feel like the majority <laughs> of these men are leading truthfully Re- majority no. What percentage do you think are leading? Three? Actually leading? Three? I don't 
wouldn't even give a right. for some. We don't know where yeah, we, know. Know. we ain't that one. We just here. I know that. So I mean, just exactly I, I mean, I'm not talking about the world. I, let's I, talk about the United States. Mm-hmm. So let's keep it there. I'm, 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 and our population I'm of black. Always, let's talk about black men. I'm gonna always say people, people, only because I've seen, like, I grew up around people they had their pops. I grew up without pops. Have no idea. So I had to learn things from looking at my people's pops or stuff I saw on TV. You know, so I know a lot of men that leave because that's, that's, that's stuff that I looked up to growing up because I had it. Okay, that's real. I mean, we we had our pops, me and my brother, my sisters. We had our daddy, we had our mom. We had both parents in the house for a long time, and I see a lot of stuff different from what a lot of people see. And you know, it's it's just different for me. I mean, I guess you can't say it. Unless you've been through it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't say like, uh, well, what do we do? Or uh, how, how can we fix them? So you know. have a model. So so the people that, like the men that you know that don't have that model. Like how d said that he kind of looked at that as a model. Mm-hmm. You know, his friends and their fathers. So for you. Because I was everybody's son. I was everybody's house. Yeah. Yeah. Do you realize your son? How many families in there? Yeah. Well, I, got, I got my 12 ass. <laughs> so just imagine a community that no one has their father. Right. That, that's the war zone I was talking about. That's the war zone. And you know, I think it makes us look, I think we get highlighted so hard on it because it's like everything we do gets thrown out to society so everybody can see it. Right. It get amped up. Cause yeah, super amped up. It, it, it's, it's plenty of fatherless white people out there. Oh, but, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. But don't nobody talk about that though. That's not yeah. really a big topic. This one, they be on our ass though. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. Yeah. yeah. See, no, everything, everything is on our ass. We do anything. Yeah. I mean, cause it's just as much white on white crime as it is black on black crime. It's That's actually, I mean, <clears throat> everyone has their same, like it's Asian on Asian crime. Yeah. Latin on Latin, you know, all of it kind of goes together. So, yeah. You're right. We we the ones get highlighted though, because you know why? We are the lead. We are the leaders, and they're trying to take us out. <laughs> Children. <laughs> uh, so we we uh. I I tell you if if I. I mean, that's why I like this platform, because if we could do bigger stuff and, and push out to the community, we will. I mean, we will get bigger and we will be able to do stuff like that. So y'all just help us get bigger, y'all. Share, share the, share the, uh, <laughs> share the show and uh, subscribe, subscribe and share. No, so really, so we can get bigger, so we can help, so we can go talk to the, the little boys that don't have a father. You know, I would love to do that. I don't have no kids yet. I'm still practicing, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I pay you just fine. <laughs> I can't pay you on that though, because it's not too many uh she said but not Read as many comment. she said but not as many white families are headed by single women unless they kids mixed. Yeah. Uh, I don't say yeah, but I know I just yeah, usually any white family I know got both women. Uh, no. Well then I was the ones I know. I've yeah. seen single single parent white uh, moms, but I mean and but it's not at the percentage. Right, it's not the yeah. same. But a lot of guys, a lot of white guys, you can't say, you can't even say white guy. Well, a lot of them, they don't have a problem marrying if the girl got three, four, five <laughs> kids. Huh? Well, white guys, yeah, they Tide all, Tide they Tide look alike, so it don't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna but black people do that. Oh, yeah, no, they don't, they don't marry and they just be with them and then they don't take care of the kids that they actually have. They yeah. take care of her kids. Mm. Okay. Sure, I, just, uh, I did a wedding about a year ago. Girl had three kids. One none of his. <laughs> I said, well, look at that. You sure came in. I look at God. Well, look at God. <laughs> look at God. <laughs> I'm going to take care of all of them. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, so he taking care of all of her kids, but did he have any children? Yeah, one. Was he taking care of that child? Yeah. Probably because he only had one. Oh, I mean, well, I, I, I mean, because I've seen where men will have children, but then they'll get with a woman and they'll take 
kick care of her. Care. Yeah, better care of her children. I've seen that. Than mm-hmm. his own children, Whoa, but I'm maybe afraid. it's because he's like, uh, I need a place to stay. Ah. I'm over here living. Yeah. You know, I don't know what it is, but I've seen that. Because I'm a, in that defense, not defense, but I think of it more as a, because um, you don't know what that relationship was with that mom of the kid he had in yeah. his head. So maybe it's almost like a new beginning. So you go over there and it's like a whole different situation. I know, but the what about the kids that, what about those seeds? I feel you. Don't oh, do okay. that. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, Everybody, look, I love my babies, okay? Two moms. I love them both. I love my babies, just for the record. <laughs> but do y'all believe on that note, when people take care of other people's kids, so you make it up stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet. Go ahead. What I'm making up? You just making up something. He do make up stuff. Oh, that's what she said. Cause they want to take us out. When I said children. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. You should be here <laughs> instead of tweeting. <laughs> exactly. The father should never forget of course not. his children. Definitely not. No matter who. No matter, no matter if you don't like the woman, no matter if you own to a new one, you got a whole set of kids over there. Okay, so what about, you know, we talked about this in the, in the same situation. If a guy has, a black guy has all black kids, and then on the other hand, he has mixed kids, he might treat them kids different. Oh, if he had the little, his little black children, and then he meet somebody else, white woman, Asian, Latin, or something that's non-black. Yeah. And he does he treat those children better than he treats his full black children? Yeah. Interesting. That is interesting. And I think sometimes it goes both ways. They might treat the I ain't never seen no. Go ahead. They might treat the the all the all black one better. Talk about the parent. Yeah. Please comment. Please <laughs> tell <laughs> us. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't see. Have you ever there. seen that dynamic? No, I haven't. I can't really think because I've never seen that. So I'm just like. So remember, we're we are in Houston. The interracial dating is not as high as like. A Phoenix or a Seattle. Have you seen I or know. have you seen like the mistreatment or the neglect? Yeah, of- I've seen it. Put them on blast, Eva, because I'm about to put people on blast. Uh, That's uh-oh. my niece. Eva, 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 like she put them on blast. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, she had to fix her shirt. And then she said, "So." <laughs> Don't talk about it, Eva, please. No, Frank, I really wish that was true, that your kids are your kids, it's all love. Yeah. But sometimes with black people, that, um, yeah, it is a weird question. But it's a dynamic, I think it's a part of... Uh, some that, you, not your pain, where you at? She said she's she stuck said at she's work. Stuck at work. Oh, Frank, get off the here. <laughs> So, so, so Frank and Nyjah feel like this question is crazy, but it's not. It's a real issue. Black people well, why would you in the United that? States, they have colorism, and I think other people do too. That's just what uh, want. in different countries. You know, they have like caste systems, and they have different things. You know, they had apartheid, different stuff. <laughs> so. They, they look at it, you know, sometimes people, I mean, just like Stefan Clark, he made a tweet that said, somebody said, like his like his children's mother, because I don't think they're married. Oh, I'm sorry, Elijah P. I'm she's sorry. Uh, She's like know. Asian or Hispanic or something. And he said specifically that, why would I want to have black children when I'm already black? I don't want black kids. Dang. That hurt my feelings. Stephon Clark, the one, the guy that got yeah. shot, yeah. And he was just, he said, and then his girlfriend was like, 
their one of their children, I guess he was like two weeks old and his color was changing and he was getting darker. Yeah, he said dark women bring dark days. Or Ooh. dark skinned women bring dark days. Yeah, he's been, yeah. He's been scarred. I wasn't never I, But but I, but that's a real thing. That's a real like I know it sounds like a weird question and um it's a weird topic, but it's real. Yeah, but now you put it down, I kinda I guess I understand that. Yeah, and he and he even um like his girlfriend was saying about their, their son that their son was getting dark and she's like, Oh god, he's getting darker than me. I hope he doesn't get as dark as his father. Ooh. Silky black. Oh, my black. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I so you I have, you have children for the specific purpose of making sure that they don't look like you. Dang. He that's self hate. He yeah. don't like. He don't like. He didn't like his. Or maybe because of what he's been through. Exactly. So he doesn't want his children to go there. And I can see people's with well, today's society now and everything that's been going on the first part of the past what four people years. I can see why somebody would say that like, man, he don't really need to. my light skin so he ain't got no black, dark skin problems. Mm. That's a good that's 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 good. That's I mean good. I mean because if we wanna I mean if you wanna like tell your story of being dark skin. Well, I was I was dark skinned and you still is. Yes, I was. No, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> you still is. <laughs> well, when I was a boy, a young, when you I was still a, dark. When I was a young kid, I was. Uh, you know, a lot of people picked on me, uh, blacky, this and that and other. But it really didn't bother me because I had so many black nicknames. They called me black boy. They called me. Uh, whatever, black Ethiopian, whatever you could think of, they was calling it to. I mean, but black yeah. Ethiopian, yeah, it was like they got a lot of them. Yeah, they have them. Um, Every Ethiopian, yeah, they. Why would they call you a black Ethiopian? That's crazy. Was that actual black people or someone? Yeah, this was black people. Okay, so black people were teasing you for being black. For being black. Hmm. And, okay. Uh, and. I guess it was like it wasn't teasing because I always had a comeback. I mean, I know, well, because you had to mask the pain because you don't think I that mean, was no, that I was scarring. Think, no, I don't think it was a, not to me. It wasn't, but I always had a comeback. I was talking about their mama or their teeth or their hair. Or I always had a comeback. So me being dark skinned I liked it. It was just me and my daddy. Dark skin. He making up stuff again. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. This is stupid. Like, you want your feelings hurt again? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, regardless, you are going to have problems being black. But if you, you know, got the complexion for correction. And once I grew up, it you happened. might. When I, when I got my stage name, <laughs> I had to have something black. I saw I, I named myself Silky Black. But you know, I posted something about sometimes like black people, they're in some people are in so much pain that they cover the pain with comedy. Mm. You know, and being funny. Well you gonna cover the pain with whatever is everybody gonna find out. Like but a lot of people do I mean for black people, like we make everything funny, but you don't you don't think at all that any of that, them teasing you as a child. Could have done any internal scarring? No, not really. It's just because I never really had a problem with it. As long as my mama loved me. So do you feel like she loved you the same than all the rest of your siblings? Even let, though let them tell it is more. Laughter is a defense mechanism. It is. Yeah, for who not really? I mean, you rather be laughing and kicking your ass because I used to fight a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Why did you yeah. do that? Because I was, well, actually, my brother got me into fighting and uh, he used to be, he used to bring me, and I used to beat up my friends and I didn't want to fight him. He was like, hit him, knock him out, D. Knock him out. So I was like, I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't really want to fight him. And then the next thing you know, I get hit and then it's like, 
So, so Frank said throughout history, the the media never showed love to the dark skin community, and that's why we can enjoy this beautiful royal skin color. Oh, thanks, Frank. <laughs> it's okay, right? I like that. I mean, yeah, point. Sure. Shout out to my You can try them commercials. And they, uh, you get some commercials and you see like they bring like the families together. You always know. Yeah, like, Chase. Like the dad to be like light skinned. That is never a dark dude in those commercials. Right. And then the kid will always be like a mixed kid. So if they got like a white girl, it'd be like a like a light skinned black dude. Yeah. But even on, on black, 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 black even on black TV shows. They they hardly ever have the wife to to black people as dark skin, yeah. and then all the kids be randomly like mixed. And you be like, where did yeah, this come from? These random yeah. children. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, they cast it the hell out of this show, didn't they? Yeah, like, like, all light skin people on this side. We need to match y'all up with the colors. So yeah, yeah, it's like, where did y'all get that from? Uh, these chase commercials always have mixed couples too. It was, oh, it was a it was a it was a little girl and a little boy. It was a black girl and a little white boy, and they was kind of making eyes at each other when they was little. Then they was a little bit older, like teenagers, and he helped her do something. The next thing you know, he was they was grown up. She was bringing her to the bank. <laughs> like what is this message, man? Like so, so black, you don't like interracial dating? No, I'm just saying that was the message. Like black men can't take women to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> black men can't. Yeah, black, what I said. Black, yeah, black men can't take women to the bank. Yeah, was, yeah you said. Like, no, I was just asking. Oh, I was just asking. Like, so you saying? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, we uh we've been on that one for a long time. See, and Nigel was saying that she would always take that comment of. Pretty for a dark skinned girl as an insult. It yeah. is an insult. Man, somebody just posted something about that. It is an insult, actually. Yeah, it is. A, it is. Like, like dark just and I'm going to ask them, what do you mean? See, I need answers. That goes back to a couple weeks ago. Remember, I was talking about the little girl picking out the, mm-hmm. and the dark girl. The dolls. The main one. Yeah. Who's the nice one? The white girl. Yeah. The main one. The dark girl. Dark yeah, is beautiful. Nice. You stay dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What well, amp say? My cousin say true that. What about about what? What what? <laughs> this is like thirty seconds. Oh, um, sorry. Well, we've been on this topic for a long time, but move I want I want to move on and switch to this topic about uh, the meme on on that clip I sent you. Okay, I'm do with the journal. Yeah. Okay. So it was. Do you want to play it? It's so funny. It was these oh. guys in the room. With these women, and I guess we can let y'all listen to it because we can't. Was so funny. We can't. We can't really let y'all see. Okay, y'all listen. Listen. Just on your mic. Oh. Now, what I want to say is, I ain't got no journal. I got <laughs> no, I'm really not. This guy is hurt. You can tell he's hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can tell he's hurt because oh, 
someone he was involved with put a wall up and wouldn't let him show his full potential of love. He wants to show his love. Let him show his love. Take the wall down. You write that girl too. He writes in his journal. Okay. And he, he 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 writes down all the notes, what happens every day. I don't know about that, but I mean, sometimes women, black women do have a wall. They keep that wall, they keep this block up like, well, I mean, cause I ain't let nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna let nobody in here cause I mean cause he just like the last one. He just like the last nothing like the last one. Y'all good at that. Drake said, but why is that funny? Okay, I'm a it first took me. He was start crying, man. man and Nigel like, said, dude ain't hurt. Look, dude, look, what, And what, then Josephine said niggas play out they is they issues on women too. Look, hey man, probably so. Look, dude, I'm just goofy as hell. Shit, that sounded funny. Don't yeah. even went over there giggling. Nah, because the dudes in the background was like picking fun. They were like, <laughs> yeah, like that, yeah. that drum shit was funny. I got a drum too. That shit was funny. Yeah, no. Okay. I think I saw that whole yeah, episode just, though. I'm just goofy. But like I said, like didn't say, dude, that point though. I mean, everybody put their issues upon each other. But you know what though? You know, you know who has that favorite saying? Black on the love. I mean, not black. Somebody pick me up. I don't have my thoughts together. What was saying? I didn't have my thoughts together. I had a point to make. Who had a saying? Somebody had a saying. <laughs> Somebody had a saying. I don't know. It, it's, it's more, you, you hear more that a black woman has a wall up than a man. You don't hear that oh, too many yeah, times yeah. about a man having some wall up. We ain't got no damn wall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we're ready, like ready, I just said, what does the hand look like? Oh, like this? <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's not what we're really talking. Cause you not gonna talk to me like that. He was just dude. like the last one. I'm not gonna let him in cause he just like Open the last hand. Close hand. the fingers. Oh. Open the hand. Close the fingers. That's how they get their point across. <laughs> <laughs> These two. That's that's the emotions coming out their hands. Emotions. He say, but women will say <laughs> they want a complete man. A man can. A man, complete man, is that part that is hurt too. Man, I agree, yeah. He just put an extra man in there. Oh, okay. A complete man, complete man is, is that, that part, part that is hurt too. Okay, deal with some hurt. Agreed. What Frank says so. And women are open to dealing with that. So I, I'm good. not sure where he was going with all of that. I think he was just running some game. Oh, no. nah, some of y'all, nah. She said the dude made excuses for dating out his race. Exactly. Oh, because that uh, was, that's what happened on that, on that show, actually. Um, what yeah, happened? They, they brought some, yeah, Ayala, they brought some white women in and they were having like a little mingle, like a mingle thing. And so they had the black women and then they brought the white women in and then the men started talking to the white women. I don't know, but I mean, I, I mean that was I think that was a part of that episode, if I'm not mistaken. But we talking about what actually happened in this little speech just now. And if a man, if he not to generalize, I mean, it's because what he went through, if he dated nothing but black women, I was like to keep going through the same shit. I think that's a legit le generalization. Yeah, that's a. Try, we try not to do so, but you know, that's like y'all generalize us. Clearly in the speech we just had right before this about black men not being in their families. That's a generalization too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm just saying. And actually, you know what? I got something to read. <laughs> Uh-oh. We don't all feel like we are uh, independent and don't need a man and all women. Right. That's just, that's just, that's I, the same, I agree. That's the same. That's the same. But so y'all was just saying. giving this. Analogy of with this hand movement. I was joking. That was a joke. Okay, hey, we were uh -huh. asking a question. We were, <laughs> All we were jokes have a little bit of truth in them. What that meant? I, mean, what I, was just just I didn't off, get this from. On. I didn't make this up. <laughs> yeah, we definitely didn't make it up. Cause this, <laughs> this actually happens. This happens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna read? Nah, something that kind of counters this. No, but that goes back to saying. What we were saying earlier about the good have to suffer for the bad. So what we need to figure out, 
It's how we need, how we can, how can we work together and resolve all of this mess? It's a mess. We've been a mess, and we need to clean up this mess together. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who to blame. I don't think we should blame anybody. We should work on it together. That's why we got this platform so we could talk about it. That's that's the first thing. That's the first step we could take. We could talk about it. Talk about it. Get it out there. Talk so, up. See exactly. See what the problem is and fix it. Come up with a solution and fix it. Give them the number, Silky, so they can call. The number you. is seven one three seven one four seven six seven zero. Call me now. Call me. Call me in. Call me in. in the wind. You watch it talk up. What? No one should be to blame. That's right. Seashell. Hey, and DJ show. Derail. DJ oh. the damn Derail. Look at that. Both men and women carry her, carry her to however women choose to express their differences. That's a good one. Both, Yvette says, uh, both men and women carry her however women choose to express their difference. But men, we might express it to who we talking to, but like this dude start crying in uh, uh, a meeting. With a whole bunch of women. Oh, it was a whole therapy something. session. I mean, they were all there. You know, know something a little more open, though. You know, like I said, dude actually had points, though. So I'm not knocking him. He has some points. He has some points. Like, nigga, we need. Like, we trying to act tough. Nigga, we got feelings. Shit. But, but he thought <laughs> his body would start going in like. He was crazy. Hey, man, y'all let the man cry, man. <laughs> y'all let, oh, here it go. This is from this chick on Crazy. I ain't gonna say her name. She might be talking crazy shit, but it's probably true. She says, I'm feeling mad disrespected. I got broken up with a nigga who had roaches, was on child <laughs> Stop it, stop it. Okay, stop right. it. With, a, <laughs> with a nigga who had roaches, was on child support, and was only making ten dollars an hour until I came in with my vanilla vanilla energy <laughs> and he got a fifteen dollar raise. I even helped this nigga set our roach bombs and parted and scratched his hair with my expensive ass conditioner. I even made him gummo. <laughs> Shaking my head, I gotta chill on black men. Y'all hate being loved by me. Now I was cool. Well, she's with a fool. I was all, cool first with it because I was just laughing. I said, "Let's get you so silly." Then when she got to, I gotta chill on black men. First of all, my nigga, I don't make ten dollars an hour. I make way more than that. So don't put me in this generalization. A lot of not me. No, uh, <laughs> because so that woman, she first of all, she settled mm-hmm. because she probably wanted a man, mm-hmm. and she found the first. Piece of man, because that's not like he said. She thought she could fix him. She wanted to fix him, and I tell people, you can't fix another person. Can't do it. You can't go in and set off bombs in his house and to you, scratch his scalp and clip his toenails. Yeah. And- so then now he leveled up. He's like, oh, I want you because you because you wanted you me when I had them. Yeah, you <laughs> clipping toenails. You wanted me when I had roaches. I don't want your ass. <laughs> Moving on, let me go get me a real bougie bitch. Let me get me a white girl. Yeah, let me get me a white girl. So now she got her, she, she do a black dude. I mean, this <laughs> opinion is not valid, bro. Y'all are too much, y'all going in tonight, huh? Yeah. So, so I dated all type, all types of black men. Mm-hmm. So I, I might need to chill on them. Look, bro, I'm just not dating the wrong nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And stop buying roast bones. <laughs> <laughs> so that's her own fault. She sound dumb. She needs to delete that post. Actually, oh, 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 you, you should really go that. She needs to get her life together. Oh, she's, she's probably she's, she's all types of dumb she's, stuff. She's, yeah, she's, she's, she's psycho. psycho. I ain't gonna lie about that. Like, I ain't gonna say her name, but I, I wouldn't date her. Exactly, you wouldn't even date oh, her. She, whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, uh oh. Uh, see shells and see. <laughs> You said you wouldn't even date her. You what, said what, what, what does that mean? Oh, you, I, I, I took no, you said you wouldn't even date her. No, you said you said even you would even you would date her. You tried to say I date everybody. <laughs> like I was out here dating all the ratchets, all the crazies. Come on, man. No, of course not. That's a class. Okay. <laughs> even I wouldn't date her. I say even he wouldn't date her. Man, that's a shot. Look at that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> How much you make? Just a thing, stop. 
Oh, he like I'm a lie. He like a lie. Tell him the rap. No, I don't. Oh, don't, don't tell. I mean, don't be scared. Oh. I got bills. That's all. Speaking <laughs> of speaking of East Coast rappers, can we to move on from this? Yeah, go ahead. That guy, I'm down with him. Fabulous. I knew you were bring that up. What happened? You know what? Oh man, that was. He beat his girlfriend. Oh man, I can see that. That was that video. It was on tape. No, yeah. not not that part. Oh, when yeah. he had the knife, and when he was threatening, when he told her father that he had a bullet with his name on it. Oh, her name on it. With the fa- with the, with her father's name. Oh yeah. Because a father came over there. Because she called him to try to get the guns out the house before he came back. But he was going super ham though. There you go, Jim. What'd you say? If you cast your net in the toilet, all you gonna catch is shit. Ooh, Women need to level up. Ooh, 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 ooh. What the hell? What Crazy. What dude? Oh, Fabulous? Yes. Yes. Fabulous is crack crazy. See, he beat her ass. He did. Did y'all see the y'all see the beating on somebody said he did? Oh, he got arrested and the got arrested. He he the see, and this is what I'm saying right now. We always get arrested. Are you defending him? I'm not defending anything. I don't know him. I don't even know the story, but I know we always get arrested. I do know that. I'm not defending <laughs> anybody. I know we get arrested for anything all the time. So is Domestic it violence? Yeah, you got, yeah. Yeah, it's true. He got arrested for it. Okay. He's probably going to plead guilty. Okay. I mean, that's him. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> <laughs> Look, she about to go domestic over here. I saw you cutting them eyes. She was cutting me with them eyes. I don't believe. Cause you know that. Cause I've been um, seeing a lot of people like literally defend him, even though they know. I mean, and we could kind of see it. Like if you watch any of the trash TV, you would have saw Emily, and yeah, she does have low self esteem. And he, yeah, like for real. Like you can see how he just he controls her. So same thing. She wanted to be there. Yeah. Cause I'm but pretty if, sure. That's but if he first. kills her, is are you gonna say, well, she wanted to be there, so she got killed? No, nobody deserves to die like that. Okay, because I was gonna go back to the black man getting <laughs> shot. Like we that. still have another discussion. <laughs> no, I mean I'm just saying. I, I said that earlier. Nobody yeah. deserved that. I mean, and they have about, teeth, I think they had three children. If you get your teeth knocked out and you still stay, you deserve whatever you comes after that. Pretty much. If you get your teeth knocked out and you burn off, be like, this thing knocked my teeth out. I gotta go. I want to say she. Have you ever heard of Stockholm Syndrome? Sometimes people think. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, but you can't say somebody deserves it. That's Maybe they think, you know, somebody always thinks somebody will change. Oh, you're not going to do it. Yeah. Nah. Just, just like that girl that's jumped that's that that's guy just, with the roaches. See, we different. If somebody knock my teeth out, bounce. If I stay. That's what you're saying now. Knock my but teeth out. you're not in the situation. Exactly. So you can't actually say what you would and would not do. I wouldn't do that. Really? You know, some simple. people. <laughs> really? I mean, an example. I was watching. I know I was watching more trash TV today, mm-hmm. but I was watching uh, Vanderpumps on VH1. Explain. <laughs> it's like the lady from uh, Housewives of what was it um, Beverly Hills or something? Vanderpump. Her name is Vanderpump. Anyway, she got like a spinoff. And it was, um, and she has like people from her bar, and it's all kind of like you know just different relationships. And this girl, she got cheated on. She got cheated on. And there was a recording of after the guy had sex with the girl. The girl recorded him talking about how he doesn't want this other girl. He doesn't want to marry her. He doesn't want to have children with her. And he doesn't want to be with her. And then so she's. She heard it. The girls let her hear it. So next thing you know, she's pissed. 
she plays it on the loudspeaker so all their friends can hear it. And then she was like, I'm done with him, I'm done with him. But then the next day, she was like, no, the next day, she was like, oh, well, we're gonna work it out. I, I, but I never thought I would say if somebody cheated on me that I would get back with them because you never know until you're in that situation. Mm. I'm just saying. No, so right. people can say things when they outside looking in well, on a relationship. Like, hey, you don't have that feeling. You yeah, you don't know what love and feeling. dedication and commitment. I wanna know what love is. I want you to show me. Will make you do. That's, what I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You don't know yeah, what man. it'll make you do. Not funny, Silky. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And Dre was like, really, exactly. Domestic violence is not a laughing matter. She really That's my cousin, uh, Raymond. He's a police officer. Raymond. Raymond Cole. Dang, you just go. I mean, did you want people to know him? Is that he the police? Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes you don't want people to know that. He's out of state. <laughs> he's out of state. Oh, okay, cool. I'm pretty sure you don't mind. He's a good okay. guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> That's what you say. He's been a cop all my life. What you mean? I'm just saying, that's what you say. That's what I know. Maybe the people he stopped don't think so. Well, they shouldn't have so been speech. So what you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> he might not be a good cop. He's talking about he a good cop. He, he is. That. I'm telling you. Uh, Raymond? He a good cousin. He a good cop. <laughs> he a good cousin. He's in all kind of promotions. He got plaques all on the wall. That doesn't make you a good cop. Yes, it do. It makes you be able to follow the rules. No, and get your, that means you're doing your job as being a good person, a good officer. No, you got to talk to the people that he represent. I see the plants. <laughs> oh, my God. It's that man, that Yeah, he's getting the wall. You're talking about Yeah, exactly. Oh, back to abuse. A man don't hit you off the muscle. He waits until you have... He has groomed you to take a punch. A man don't hit a woman. So what you got to say about that? So what are you trying to say? A real man? No. If a man, if a man hit a woman, she did something to deserve that lick. Wow. And somebody said, ask your your Christmas wife if he's a good cop. Oh yeah. I already know that. They've been married 900 years. I don't know how long. What does that mean? mean? What? Because they've been married, that he's a good cop? He is. There's no argument about that. <laughs> I just know. I just know it. Just I feel know. it in my spirit. <laughs> That's probably what like a lot of people thought about. Like, I can't believe that that happened. He's such a good guy. No. Just like that councilman. What councilman? Did y'all see the autopsy of the the, re- the report from his death? Mm-hmm. Larry Green? Mm-hmm. Sorry, Larry. Whatever. <laughs> they found him. They found him dead. Oh, yeah. They they own your ass. Okay. Anyway. Keep going. Keep coming. Come on. Come on. Stop. <laughs> I ain't scared of y'all. So I don't know. He's a. I don't know if you guys know about District D. It's kind of uh, South Post. So yeah, I know about Post the, the guy they found dead. You were saying he looked like a healthy guy. What happened? Yeah. So he had meth in his system. They just they. And they planted it on me, man. They plant stuff. He said, I know you see them planting. <laughs> he had meth and uh, something that they call black impact. He was huffing. Huffing. He was huffing and. Cocaine's the hell of a drug. And <laughs> doing. <laughs> smoking <laughs> meth. Nah, he was on too much stuff. Hey, Sheree. Nice. Thanks for tuning in. Man. This is Talk Up. He died from an overdose. He died from an overdose. Cause I mean, cause like Dre, when I saw his picture, I was like, dang, how'd that dude die like that? And then it was like talking about, just talking about him. I was like, hmm, that don't sound right. And then next thing you know, that came out and he lived by himself. Hmm, huff. See, don't huff by yourself, huff with people. 
You see, good. that's why crackheads, they don't <laughs> smoke alone. They smoke with people because they don't want don't to go, die by themselves. Don't go huffing by yourself. You remember that story was I'm huffing, I'm puffing, I'm blowing your house in. Just in case that's somebody and sucking on glass dicks. What? <laughs> Man. Oh, oh okay. pipe. Yeah, they smoke. Man, I mean, oh, he was doing some real it. bullshit. I don't do drugs. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. But that's, that's sad. That's sad to say. Cause oh, Dre sounded, said it sounds suspicious. It does kind of sound suspicious. I wonder, you know what we need to look at? Everybody that's watching this, District D. Let's see what happens in the next five years in District D that he may have overturned previously. Because mm. he's been the only councilman for District D for years since it started. I saw that. So that that it. potentially could be, you know, Somebody set was there up. to take him out because who does meth? A lot them. of a lot of people do that. Them. Who is them? Oh them? They not nah, us. We man we they do that too. They they do Surprised, yeah, you'll be surprised. I am. Yeah. I'm surprised. Man, cocaine, <laughs> snorting, cocaine doing all kind of stuff. Yeah. So they're doing it. Even the celebrities, they, they've been cheating themselves over there. Oh, uh, yeah. I keep watching on that Reels channel. Does anybody watch the Reels channel? R E E L Z. Anyway, they keep doing these shows about Prince, Marvin Gaye, uh, Muhammad Ali, like the autopsies or what happened. And like Marvin Gaye, like he was, it was uh, he was doing, he was doing a lot. Everything. He was doing everything. Just put it all in the See, and then a lot of times when he was like dehydrated from like snorting cocaine, like all night or whatever, he would go to the hospital and then he would get out and the and the, and the news reports would say, oh, he was dehydrated. You know, like they always tell us about other celebrities right now that, oh, they're just dehydrated or they just needed to rest or. Everybody ain't dehydrated. You got all this damn water. Exactly. I'm like, why is everybody dehydrated? But a lot of times, like the celebrities, of course, Michael Jackson, you know, he had a, he had a physician and different people, but a lot of them have nurses. They have people. A lot of rich people do too when they party, you know, I forgot what that movie was, but they party real hard and then, you know, they have a nurse Zach say, don't you say nothing about Marvin Gaye. <laughs> oh, shit. Because <laughs> it was the anniversary of his death yesterday. Because he no, died. He yeah, died on April yeah, 1st. Birth. Today was his birthday. Because my mom was like, yeah, we, we thought it was all like an April Fool's joke. And um, it wasn't. Because yeah. his father really did shoot him. Yeah, but today is birthday and yesterday he got you know. But the thing about it is they said that when he got killed he had he had been doing drugs, but the autopsy because they like basically did a report, you know, and looked at the everything on it. Actually he hadn't he didn't even have drugs in his system at that time. Mm. But his father did have a brain tumor and they think like and Marvin Gaye was super depressed. So he may he may have kind of agitated him because they will argue a lot, mm -hmm. you know. But at that moment, he didn't have drugs in his system, and his father shot him twice. The first bullet actually shot him in the arm, so he didn't have to even kill him. Like he just shot him in the arm; he was still alive. But the second bullet is what actually killed him. Where? Mm -hmm. uh, in the head. Oh. Yeah. So it was kind of like he walked away and then maybe he said something, he turned back around and shot him again. So I, I know we, we And then he wouldn't come out the house. So the police waited like 40 minutes. So he actually, cause I think it kind of grazed or it, it did something or was it in the chest? It might've been in the chest, but what, wherever it was, if they would've got him closer, yeah, he would have actually may have been able to live, but the father wouldn't come out with the gun. It's too much. We're not using our guns for the right stuff, man. It's these guns and cocaine's a hell of a drug, yes, it is. And cocaine. And because I've seen a video. Wait a minute, let me just. Somebody just commented an old white 
retired stripper I work with said Marvin party the most said the freak said he free base they free base together which was the early form of crack smoking Makes sense. <laughs> I was on that shit. I was on that shit back in the day. So just more money, more access. Just in Houston yesterday, seen a video. These three grown-ups was in the car and they was playing with a gun. I don't know why they was going live on, on at Facebook. The, at the Blair? Was it the gas station? I think so. Yeah. And the I girl, the girl grabbed the gun. So the guy was like, "Wait, hold on. Yeah. You making me nervous." So she was like, "Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do to these things. We roll up. We roll up." And so she pointed the gun at his head, and the gun went off. She shot him in his head on wow. Facebook Live. You did right there, man. I well, they, today they said he's. On life support, he didn't die, but it look it sure looked like it. You see the little clothes and man. And I said I didn't watch a lot. I didn't see that. Yeah, it was horrible. It was yeah, somebody horrible. talking about they was uh, what was they saying? They were trying to see. They were saying it was a setup. Oh yeah, that's what they said. That was a setup. That was a setup. Oh, they set him up or what? Oh, that was a setup. That's well, how, that, that's that what I was setup? waiting. How was that a setup? I don't know nothing about it. It, it was horrible. I want to say it was a Was setup. they trying to get his refund? His income tax refund? <laughs> like they did that girl? Yeah, that was bad too. Oh, I didn't think it was. Everybody didn't think it was. Because I want to see how they were saying it was. They don't, they don't think it was an accident. Because why was you on Facebook Live though? What was the, what would be the point in that? It, 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 was, it looked like it was his gun though. I, I don't know. Maybe it was. It was a setup? Yeah, I mean, it didn't look, it, it kind of looked like an accident, but why would you play like that and point a gun at somebody's head? Whose live was it? I don't know. No, oh, his. It was on his. Oh, so they can't even find the people. Oh, gang initiation. Hmm. Oh my God. Are they doing that still? No, I, I know gang banging is crazy. Why, that's why we can't get together like that. If I had, if I had the key to get together, the answers to get together and see, pick some of these problems. Uh, oh, to kill someone on live stream. That could have been. Because I'm like, who plays like that with a gun though? Who plays like that? Because he did try to stop her a couple times. Mm -hmm. And then she kept, I can't just see no woman. Man, it was bad, man. It was, was it was like a, too. that's crazy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's crazy. It's disturbing. Why they ain't take it down yet? It's still it's up? up? Yep. I seen it earlier this morning and I seen it when I got on. It's pretty good quick though. I thought Elon Musk was going to, he said that he would buy Facebook and then delete it. Who said that? Delete the whole Facebook? Elon Musk, the one that owns Tesla. He said he wanted to buy Facebook and he was going to delete the whole thing. Speaking of Tesla. Another one of them autopilot crashed and killed somebody. Dang, for real? Yeah. 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 I'm just in one of them. <laughs> nice. The really Model X, yeah. Great vehicle. And, <laughs> and I fall asleep a lot. I think I would want to get one just in case I'm coming from Louisiana. I, I don't trust anything to drive me on its own. Mm -hmm. But eventually, but see, eventually technology was going that way. So now it's like a halt because that, that Uber car, which that lady, the video I seen, I, that was in uh, Tempe, Arizona. But the video I saw where that lady and she drove in front of the car, it was a, a you know, it was yeah. one of those unmanned cars. But somebody was in the car. But she just pulled out with her bike. I mean, yeah. I don't think anyone could have stopped and like, even if they were driving. Yeah, even if you were driving because it was dark, completely dark, and then all of a sudden her bike just came out of nowhere. Yeah. And, I, and then I'm kind of thinking like, well, are they trying to, yeah, I'm not going to watch that that Facebook video either, no. but I'm not going to, uh, I think what they are doing is maybe they want to put a hold on these unmanned yeah, cars weird. because now Tesla, now that happened with Tesla and then they found out like, yeah, they were in um, auto when it happened. 
you know, so it wasn't like the person driving, it was actually the technology. So I don't know what's happening. I mean, because just put the assisted, the little assist drive thing on there. I don't need no thing to be driving me. <laughs> I can see. Oh yeah, I can see if I doze off a little bit, which I kind of would do sometimes. That's why you just need like the little parkers. Like in my homegirl, she got an aircraft, and it has like some little feature on there where it'll keep you in the lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. lane assist. It'll it'll drive. Like so, I mean, that's cool, right there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know. I need no whole car drive. Yeah, not no, not just like I can just sit back here and go to sleep and then. I mean, but that's where technology is for. Like, who will with these sharp turns? <laughs> yeah. What about this word? You know? What if a tire pop off? This they, 18 they goes in front. Yeah, they gonna see that or not? Yeah, somebody said, um, jo- well, Josephine said maybe if they um, played some music in that Facebook video, they would have pulled it down by now. Because you know, anytime oh, you go live and you got sure right. music, they pull it down. Oh, yeah. So how can they, they can, they have technology to figure out that music is playing, but not that somebody just got shot. I guess they trying to catch the criminal. That's probably why they But you don't have to leave it up to right. find the criminal. Exactly. But that's that all they that catch- part of getting us, making us know. Hey, hey, hey. They catch them butt naked drill quick. They can die. Like, yeah. They can be up two seconds. <laughs> but niggas yeah, be gone. Yeah, they emailing you and everything. Yeah. You, you, are, are, you are banned for three days. Yeah, you for three days. New pictures. <laughs> Titties. Yeah, you but somebody trust. can get shot in the head. I mean, even yeah. when that guy, I don't know, somebody came up to the car, it was like four guys in there, and they just start shooting at the car. I watched the whole video on Facebook. It was like, like last year. And I'm like, this still up? It was like days later. Yeah. But that's how it is. Yeah, it is hard, man. They, that's trying to, they're trying to get us like used to that. That, that war zone, so our minds, you know, that's how they used to treat the, uh, that's how the uh, Nazis used to do people in the concentration camps. Mm-hmm. They just keep showing them bad stuff, bad stuff, bad stuff, so they can control it because the mind acts a certain way whenever it sees, whenever it's traumatized, mm-hmm. kind of like a stock, Stockholm syndrome, mm-hmm. and they can. Uh, them yeah, they can control sure them and use them as like a uh, memory. It, it, it make your memory like a, a photo. It make you have a photographic memory almost. And uh, they use the people as spies because they don't have. Yeah, they don't have to have no recorder. They can go in and remember everything they saw. And uh, I actually, I've seen a documentary on this about uh, Hillary. There was, it was this one lady. I forget her name, but. Uh, she was involved with a bunch of stuff like that, and uh, they picked the government picked her because she had been abused, and you know they they still did more tests on her to get her memory up to where they wanted it to be. Let me think about the more shows I be watching where they be having like them. Uh, it's, it's like you're saying the people they have like certain select people and they just go put them in place. Now, but I didn't be making this stuff up. But this stuff probably really be happening. They just made it a show. Yeah, <laughs> real. A lot of this stuff, yeah. Oh, what? Uh, this might be the last subject we talk about because we, we're going pretty good. And thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for watching. But um, the kids, the foster kids that their parents drove off the cliff with. Y'all heard about that? No. Definitely. Where at? It was one. It was in California, I think. It was a little boy. And they was showing his image, like hugging. And crying on the cop whenever something happened. Just one of the tragic shootings. And uh, oh, the black boy, and yeah. he was being abused. Okay, yeah, I know. And uh, so his whole family. Uh, he had two foster parents, two women, two white women, and it was like four, I think it was like four kids. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Had like four kids, and they drove off the cliff with them. And they said that the the uh, Police reports said that they hit, they didn't hit no brakes. They was doing about 90 miles an hour. Oh, right. And went off the cliff with them kids. Right. 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 Just people. Just black people. Black, black, no, they was white parents with like four black kids. Oh, damn. 
had a whole issue with me full of how long? How long? Have oh, they been uh, hmm? how long have, have they been like ten seconds? Six kids. Oh, it was six? Because they showed a picture. I think it was like uh, oh, I, I, oh, I, they think they killed other kids and then killed themselves since CPS was on to them. Oh no! The neighbor called the neighbor. CPS on them. Ooh wee, that's crazy. Yeah, it was, it was, bad. it's sad. It's sad because Josephine said, "Let me guess, they mentally ill." Hmm. You guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be, she. No, because they white. Yeah. Of course, they gonna be mentally ill. Of course, that's what happens to them. <laughs> rest in peace. And rest in peace, the winning Mandela. Hold it down. We go hold it down. Well, y'all know y'all from Houston. <laughs> right. that I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. I'm from Houston. Shout out to all so. my people from Louisiana that's watching. All my people from Clear Lake. All my people from Houston that's watching Silky Black on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. <laughs> you don't even know how to use Twitter. Yeah, I'll be on Twitter. Twitter. My, my uh, notices be popping up. I just sometimes I go in and I look. Y'all be on Twitter all the time. See you, man. Well, that's because we, the Instagram was linked. So anything I post on Instagram, oh, I'll, go there. Yeah. I'll go on there every night if I'm ready to go on there like that. Yeah, Twitter is for news, right? You can get stuff faster on Twitter. I thought you said news. <laughs> Twitter is for news. <laughs> news. <laughs> news, yes. Any built on I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, posting news on Twitter. Well, Nigel P, we miss you over here, sugar. Yeah, we miss you. Uh, she died at 80 years old. And, uh, how do you get charged with child abuse and still able to adopt kids? Man, that should have just knocked you all out the system. No, Prior no, it don't. Sadly, it does not that's look crazy. like that. Because my, uh, uh, my little girl's mom, that's what she, uh, she's a, what's it called, a social worker. And she be telling me, like, how they be going through, like, when they go interview them people, they say they ask everything like everything how many times you took a shower a day everything how many times you eat a day does it smell like Febreze in your house like they say they ask everything so I'm just like that that some shit? <laughs> Ooh, I hope not I can't stand that <laughs> I actually don't like that smell dude. Like, okay thank you and you I'm like put that in a, in a pot and boil it and yeah and I don't know why people think that a smell means your house is clean mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that road trying across that flow Smell like Fabuloso on my head though. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably that. how that dude house smells. Like yeah. Fabuloso. <laughs> With all the roaches. <laughs> probably did. The roaches are blue. <laughs> Purple, <laughs> roaches. Purple <laughs> roaches. Fabuloso roaches. They drinking with Fabuloso. Yeah, well that's crazy. Yeah, I thought they, they really get down to Oh, them. well we do. She didn't show up today. What? Somebody said you need more estrogen on the panel. Oh yeah, it's it's two and two. They be in here. She'll be here. She said exactly. Exactly what? Oh, yeah. miss y'all too. Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. Look at go. Okay. Well, thank y'all for watching. We about to go though. Thank y'all for the calls and uh, and all the support. Share, hey, share it. Hey, I'm going to put it on Facebook. I'm going to put the whole thing on Facebook. So, I mean, not Facebook. YouTube. I'm going to put the whole thing on YouTube. It's going to be edited. It's going to have music and stuff. And, uh... Are we getting hearts on YouTube? I know. Y'all giving hearts? Oh, uh, y'all going to make me cry like the dude on the video. Been writing this journal. All right, journals, too. 
<laughs> and he just it was, it was the way he sounded too that made that shit funny. Yeah, he took like two deep breaths. Like we had like like this normal regular ass no deep. Yo, it's not giving that dude a pass. That's too bad. I gave him a pass. I gave him a pass. I got a wall. Brother can't even be emotional. I said he had valid points. But the shit was funny. He did have valid points. But it was just the delivery. It was hilarious. But, um, yeah, go to YouTube if you didn't catch the whole thing. And it's going to be up there. And and plus, I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it. And y'all share it. Share, 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 But this is Talk Up, and I thank y'all for watching this. April Fool, niggas. 